Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I am working on a collaboration for the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Weekly Collaboration Group. Um, this week's theme is feathers, so um, that's what I'm going to be working on. I am using Wave Gel Blue to France. Um, I'm using both the lacquer and the gel on this one. I'm using Wave Gel Cobalt Glimmer, just the lacquer. Wave Gel Snow Ice Gel Polish. Munda de Unis Black Stamping Polish. My favorite squishy little sticky stamper. This plate from Born Pretty Store, it's BPL007. I'm gonna be using, it's upside down, I lost it. This image right here with the feathers, peacock feathers it looks like. I've got a scraper and my um, lint roller for cleaning my stamper. Okay, I'm going to be painting my pinky finger and index finger blue, um, and these two will be the ones that get the stamping, and they will have a white background. So we're going to start off with the blue. And this is a really nice cream, tealy, turquoisey, I don't know what you would call it. It's a gorgeous blue polish. I love this color for summer. It's not exactly neon, but it's pretty bright. I've got like a little fuzz, a little piece of cotton fuzz there. And I'm just going to paint one finger of each color and then I'll do the rest off camera. Just in the interest of saving time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other fingers and I will be right back. Okay, we're back for a second coat of the blue. Yeah, I've got like a little bump in my polish. <laughs> I think there was something stuck to my nail there. I must not have gotten my cleanup done after my last mani as well as I thought I did, but um, I will deal with that when I'm done. Once this is all cured, I can just like file that down and add another coat really quick and you won't even be able to tell it was there. I'm going to go cure those for 30 seconds in my lamp. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm, my nails are ready to be stamped on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my polish on this image that I'm gonna use here. Again, this is Mundo de Unis Black. It only takes very little. Little goes a long way. Let's see how that picked up. I'm just going to press it in and yes I didn't use liquid latex and oh I did a horrible job at getting that placed on there. Um, this is the great thing about gel polish. I'm going to take a little acetone. Hold on. This is the great thing about gel polish. I don't like the way that turned out so I'm going to grab cotton cotton pad, some acetone, wipe it off. I top coated this so that I could do this, I could wipe it off if needed. So there we go. Now I can start all over again. Just wipe that off, let it dry a little bit, and we're going to try again. Put the stamping polish on, give it a scrape. There's the pickup. And 
I'm going to try and do this on camera. Okay, go kind of, kind of diagonal. Let's see if I can't get more of that onto my nail. There we go. A little bit better coverage. And I've got my roller just out of the just out of the frame. You can't see it. I didn't want to have to reach across to clean my stamper. Okay, let's do the next one. Same thing. A little bit of polish. Give it a scrape. Awesome pickup again. Oop, <laughs> I almost stamped the wrong nail. Can you see that? And I'm just gonna doop. There we go. I'm gonna save my cleanup for the very end. Um, because there's a super easy way to do this when you do gel polish. So I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I still haven't done my cleanup yet. I'm gonna wait until the very end because if I top coat this first, I could just take some acetone and wipe that off super quick. I don't have to get my cleanup brush out and it'll be much easier. But I'm gonna do a little technique that my friend Patty, um, Patty Mail, I believe is her YouTube username. I will make sure to link her um, information in the description box down below. She did this um, kind of watercolor technique using gel polish, and I'm going to give it a try. So what I have here, I've got a little dish full of acetone, uh, not acetone, alcohol. I have 70% just because that's what I have on hand. Um, I've got a little piece of foil. This is just regular old kitchen foil. Um, and I'm going to take my gel polish. I've got three colors. I know if this is not what I said in the beginning, I changed my mind. Um, I've got, all these are wave gel, the Blue de France, which is the one I have on my fingers, Cobalt Glimmer, and Catalina Island, which is a purple. And I'm just going to take a little bit of each, I'm just going to put a little of each onto this foil here. And I'm going to use the alcohol to um, do a watercolor effect. I don't need a lot of the polishes. I meant to do them in a different order, but that's okay. And we're just gonna wing it. I've never tried this technique. I have not practiced this technique. This was a um, kind of spur of the moment decision. <laughs> so fingers crossed, this will all go well. We will see. And I'm going to kind of use these to do a watercolor effect on my feathers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fingers in the frame. <laughs> That's part of what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush. This is just um, one of the Winstonia Berry Wine set. Um, it's super, super thin detail brush. Can you see that? Super, super thin. And I'm just going to dip it in alcohol, wipe a little bit off, and then swirl, am I on the frame there? Swirl the brush into the polish a little bit to kind of thin it out. I'm gonna get a little more alcohol, thin that out just a little bit more to make it like a watercolor consistency. Super thin, I want it sheer. Okay. And Patty says you're supposed to use 90% alcohol. I like to break the rules. I only have 70% on hand, so 70% is what I'm using. So I'm just gonna kinda go in and go over my design here. And if my color is too thick, I can always just take a little alcohol and add it in. Um, add the alcohol in to thin the color out if my color is too sheer, I can just grab more polish and put it on top. She made it look so easy, Patty did, so we're just gonna give it a try. Just And you don't really paint this on like you do with regular polish or even with the gel polish, you just kinda dab it in there. You don't have to worry about going over the lines because it's gonna be kinda sheer.
I'm trying to make sure that I'm coloring the same part of each of the feathers. I can't tell where the top of that one is. Okay. Oh, I'm totally off frame. Sorry. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that closer. <laughs> there. And I'm going to do the same thing on with a different color. I'm just going to kind of wipe the excess polish off. And I'm going to go with the blue. Grabbing a little alcohol, swirling it into my polish. Just thinning that out. Okay. And I'm just going to go back and keep filling in. And I'm going to leave part of this open so I can put the lighter blue in there. I don't have to dip into the alcohol every single time. Just as much or as little as I feel like I need. It's really up to you. Do whatever you want. And this is gel polish, so it will have to be cured in my lamp before I top coat it. Patty, this is really cool. I really like the way this is turning out. <laughs> and it's so much easier than I thought it would be. I had it in my head. I was going to make some sheer polishes using just clear top coat. And that's what I was going to do. And I was going to get all fancy. But no, this is so much easier. Use the colors that you already have. Well, I don't know if you can see the color shading in there on the screen. Now I'm going to do the lighter one. I'm just dipping my brush in alcohol, wiping off the excess color before I move on to the next one. Let me turn that around so I can reach it. Grab a little alcohol and then swirl it into the color. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like how this is turning out. Thank you, Patty. Patty's a genius. She thought of this. Her videos, she's, I think she's done two manicures with this, this technique and it's just, it, they're amazing. Both of them, they came out so neat. One of them, I'm sure she hasn't published yet, but she sent it to me so that I could see it and it totally blew me away. It is one of the best designs that I've seen by anybody. Not just by Patty, by anybody. It is really fantastic. I can't wait until you guys get to see that one. She was practicing just playing around and she created this watercolor that is a work of art. Okay, I think that's it. Did I miss any spots? Yeah, I've got one little tiny spot. I wanna put a little bit more color right there. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in my lamp. I'm gonna do my other nail, pop it in the lamp, and then I will come back and show you the finished design which I top coated. Be right back. Okay, here's my finished design. Um, I am so excited about how this turned out. Uh, the video does not even do justice to how pretty those feathers are. Um, yeah, the subtle shading in there really shows up under the lights. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I will make sure to leave a link for Patty's videos and Patty's YouTube channel, as well as information on the YouTubers Nail Art Stamping Collaboration Group um, and everyone who participated in this week's collab. This one was so much fun. This is um, way out of my usual wheelhouse. This is not something I would normally do. Feathers are not really my thing, but I am totally obsessed with how this turned out. So um, I'm sure you'll be seeing this technique again for me very, very soon. Thank you very much um, for stopping by and hanging out with me today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please click that little circle up there and um, subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I, will, um, I look forward to hanging out with you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.